We are now going to work on our second face for our fancy cube. I'm going to create a new document and this time I'm working on the left face. Left face is a little bit easier than the last one that we did, but you'll also notice that it is not uh, starting with a uh, square. It's a rectangle. It's going to be 225 by 175. The reason for the change in the size is so that everything fits together uh, with the finished product when we put it all together. It also has only one extrusion in the center of it. Uh, looks like a triangle is going to be extruded out of it. Uh, and it's a one inch uh, equilateral triangle. So here we go. I'm going to start my sketch. I'm going to put it on the front plane change it over to the front view so I can see what I'm doing. Rectangle, start at the apex, doesn't matter what I choose. Now I'm going to type in my numbers, 1.75 inner and 2.25 tall. And there's my rectangle to begin with. Green check mark, turn it isometric, extrude, choose my rectangle and change my depth to 0.25, same as the last one. Green check mark. Now I'm going to put this triangle in the middle of it. I'm going to start my sketch on this front face, turn it back to front so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to use my triangle, which is going to end up being in the inscribed polygon. But I don't want to use this first because I need to have that uh, triangle centered. So now I'm going to use my line tool first so I can give me some tools here. This time I'm going to come down and find the center point because I do want it to be on the center point this time. And I'm going to draw a line across this uh, shape on the center line. So click on that center point and as I go across, click on the other center point and we have a line that has been drawn side to side. I'm going to choose my line tool again and I'm going to do it top to bottom. And now I have a center point where I can work off of. Come over here and choose the inscribed polygon. I could do either one of them. One of them has a circle on the outside, one has a circle on the inside. It doesn't matter which one you're choosing. I'm going to start in that center point and I'm going to draw my pentagon. But I really want it to be a triangle. So to make this work, I have to click it down and then I'm going to move my mouse to the left or to the right until I have the correct shape that I want. Now I want this to be a triangle, so it's only going to have three sides. I'm going to click and it's locked it in at three sides. Now I need to dimension it. I want to dimension one side since it's equilateral. I only have to dimension one because all the laterals are the same and I want it to be one inch. Looking pretty good so far. Now I need to get this line flat. To do that, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to choose this tool, the horizontal tool. There's also a vertical tool, but I don't want the ver I want the horizontal tool. I'm going to click on him. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on this bottom line. And when I click on it, it lines it up and makes it horizontal side to side and locks the rest of it in. So there I have my triangle. If I come back and I look at my original instructions, it should be 1.125 which is half of 2.25, the center of that circle. So if I come over here and I dimension just so I can see what I've got from there to the bottom, and it's 1.125. And when I hit enter, you'll notice it has been uh, grayed out. It's light, it's uh, uh, kind of faded away, which means it's a derived measurement and it's the only measurement that that can be. We'll click on him, get rid of it, and green check mark. Turn it back to isometric so I can kind of see what I'm doing. Go to extrude 
and I have to I have four different shapes for this triangle that I need to choose to choose all of it and then I want to remove it I don't want it added I want it removed check mark and finally I need to give it some color so edit its appearance and this one I'm gonna choose it kind of an orange nah, I don't like that orange hair oh, oh, there's a better orange okay and then maybe you want to do the inside of it here a little bit so I'm gonna change that color and I might change it to kind of an off purple and I can't get that one I'm gonna to have to turn the shape around and there we go so now I've got all three of those shapes all three of those sides changed color green check mark pretty happy with that close this up pretty happy with what I got there and that's it this one's pretty simple good luck